JR from the To Watch Pile again. Good to see you. Thank you for watching. Uh, today I decided to uh, delve into my horror roots again. I did my top five favorite horror magazines of all time last video. Uh, so this one is going to be my favorite horror books. Now I have to admit my favorite ones are cheap because it's, it's two books. But it's volume one and volume two, so I'm going to count that as one book. Why am I going to count it as one book? Because it's my video. That's why. Um, so being a horror kid for as long as I have, I have bought heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of books about horror. I've got books about zombies. I've got books about everything. Um, and uh, I, yeah, I just, I'll go into a bookshop, go straight to their movie section, and I judge what that shop's like based solely on whether or not they have horror books in there. Um, there's a, a new bookshop that's opened near me where I work. Uh, it's Harry Hartog, which is part of the Berkeley Book Group. Um, and they are starting to move some horror stuff in. Uh, and one of my new favorite books is actually one that I bought a couple of weeks ago, which was a surprise when I got it. Now, my taste in horror films mainly leads towards European horror. Um, I love Giallo. I love um, Spanish horror films. Blind Dead, Blind Dead series by Armando de Osorio it just blows my mind. I love them. Um, and yeah, Argento and Fulci and uh, Michelle Seovi and some of those guys. I just love all of their work. I just got The Church from um, from Shameless Screen Entertainment, and I hadn't seen it for years. I think I've got a DVD of it, and I just got their Blu-ray release, and I just sat there stunned by what a, what a great film it is. I just can't get enough of that sort of stuff. Uh, I, I do like American films. My favourite film of all time is an American film, uh, Reanimator. Uh, so it's not like I completely hate America. I don't hate American horror films at all. It's just that when I sit down and watch something, I tend to end up with something European in my hand. Um, so, my top five favourite books about horror goes as, stuff, as such. Now, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you may have seen that I collect horror movie posters. Um, I've got a, cop, a, a Spit on Your Grave poster here, um, mounted and framed, love my stuff. Um, now, there's a, a magazine called Creepy Images, and they have started doing a, a couple of book versions of what they do. Now... This one, Muchas Gracias, Señor Lobo. Um, this is, I think the guy's a German. Um, this book is printed both in German and English. Um, now, it's posters, worldwide poster collection of Paul Nashi, aka Jacinta Molina's films. Um, and it's a beautifully illustrated beautifully illustrated book that's just full of stuff falling out of it that, that's full of post of um posters from all over the world of his stuff and it's just beautiful the text is in german and in english um but this is one of those books i can sit down and just flick through this for hours so i'm i'm not even actually sure if i've properly read everything in it because i get distracted by the the art in it um i'm sure i must have been through it all the way but yeah, so my number five of my favourite books of all time is this one right here. So my number four, this is from a, a journalist I admire named Stephen Thrower. And if you're watching this and you are a horror or exploitation fan, you know this volume. Fab Press's Nightmare USA. Um, this, basically it's from 1970 to about 1985 and it talks about the horror and exploitation uh, time that we had there. It is um, in beautiful black and white. It's got reviews and it's fully illustrated, some colour stills, um, text heavy. Like if, you, if there is another thing to know about the period that is covered in this book, um, I don't think it exists because Thrower has just done this ridiculously uh, 
intense and in-depth look at the films of this time. Uh, on the back it says, um, between 1970 and 1985, American exploitation movies went berserk. Censorship crumbled and the gate to excess flew wide open. Yeah! Um, the first film that's mentioned here is I Drink Your Blood, which um, an Australian company called X Films have just released. Um, and when you buy the special edition, which I think was, might have only been limited to 100, but um, it actually comes with a VHS copy that, that looks like the old Focus video release. Um, so, that's it there. It's pretty cool. Anyway, but that, that's the first film that they talk about there, and it comes with the Blu-ray as well, amongst other things. I think that there was a, a horror hypo, which is a fake hypodermic needle. Anyway, my number four on the list. This is not a one-night read, but you will not be able to put it down. So, Red Bull, five days off work, this book. If you can get someone to deliver your nachos, that would be good too. Heaps of hot peppers, so... But if you need to go to the loo, just take the book with you. It might be a difficult read while you're crapping. Um, but do what you've got to do. Number four, Nightmare USA. Buy it now. Now, this is the new one that I got that made me think that Harry Hartog, this new bookshop, was, uh, was one to go to. Now, I tend to walk into these sorts of bookshops with my mindset of there is no way that this shop is going to have anything about European horror in it. Wrong again, JR. Uh, so this I picked up for about 50 bucks. It's um, done by years. Uh, and it is a beautiful book that goes through. It just it represents stuff. Uh, uh, it reviews stuff like um, The She Beast, Torture Chamber of Barren Blood, The Fantastic Last Man on Earth with Vincent Price. Um, it's all of that that European Gothic style horror. It's even got anthropophagus in it. It's got anthropophagus in it. How can a book that has anthropophagus in it be bad? Um, yeah, uh, like I said, about 50 bucks hardcover. It's by Jonathan Rigby. Um, yeah, if you like Euro horror like I do, if you're a Euro tart like I am when it comes to horror, this is amazing. It really is such a good book. Um, yeah, it covered Germany, Spain, so I think it's got the cabinet of Dr. Caligari in it, which um, it's got the golem. It's got um, uh, Nosferatu. I'm sure it's got Caligari in it, um, which you know is a pretty important film in German expressionism. Um, and just to prove me wrong, I'm not going to be able to find it. Um, come on. Anyway, uh, it's got a picture of, of the main guy. Chesare? It's got the picture of Chesare there, so I'm assuming that it does. Um, but yeah, if you like your Euro horror, grab this. Number three. Next one. Um, I guess this guy is a contemporary of Stephen Thrower, who, who wrote Nightmare USA. Um, and this book is about my favourite director. Um, another fab press book, just like Thrower's. Um, Dario Argento, The Man, The Myths and The Magic. Um, I love Dario Argento's work so much. I can't even I can't even describe. And sure, there's been a couple of dogs later in his career, but no one's perfect. I'm sure you can go through any director's uh, body of work and say, "Yep, good, 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 crap, good, crap, good." Um, but this book just covers everything he did. It's full color. Um, it does have some black and white. Actually, is it full color? No, it's not. It's well, it's color and it's black and white. But it talks about stuff that he's produced. So this has got the, like I said before, the church in it. It's got the sect. It's got um, phenomena in it, which is one of my favorites. Um, Jones has dissected Argento's career with this beautifully, um, and even down to this is an updated version, I think. Or maybe it's not an update. Maybe this was. I, this is the only version I've actually got of it. Um, so I don't know if there was an updated one. But this this actually has. Do you like Hitchcock? It's got Jennifer and Pelts from Masters of Horror. It's got Mother of Tears. Um, it's got Giallo and it's got Dracula 3D in it. So it's it's fairly current as far as as Argento's body of work is concerned. But um, yeah, there there was. There's only one reason why this wasn't number one, and that was because of the work. 
of a gentleman named Troy Howarth. Howarth? How? I don't know. Um, again, I'm not a linguistics expert. I'm going to call him Howarth and apologise profusely for mispronouncing his name. It's, it's probably something completely different. Anyway, as I've said, Euro horror is my bag. And as much as I like Argento, I like reading about everybody. You can't go too far wrong with two volumes of So Deadly, So Perverse. This covers just Giallo films. Um, 50 years it covers. Uh, so 63 to 73, 74 to 2013. Um, they are soft cover. Um, I think they're about... 35 to 40 bucks each. Um, nice, basically just review after review. And, and this is one of those books, I guess like all of these books, realistically, it turns into a shopping list. Um, I remember when I first saw Not Quite Hollywood. Now, I'm, I'm Australian, so I, I like Australian films. But when I watched Not Quite Hollywood, it was like, damn, this is a shopping list that I need to fill. And I'm still trying to get a copy of Lady Stay Dead. But I think I've pretty much well covered everything else that was in that film. Another shopping list, and and I sort of pick this up at any time. Just sort of pull it out of the bookshelf and go through it and go, oh, I don't have that. I should try and track it down, and it becomes a, a quest. But yeah, man, these books are so good. Um, they're literally they're realistically just review books, but they're done year by year, and they're about what about my favourite type of film. So so I I can't really go past these books and they're, and they're yellow they've made the books yellow unfortunately not the same yellow which was a bit of a bummer so on the belt bookshelf they don't look like they match but you know um, So Deadly So Perverse can't recommend these two books enough they're one choice they're my number one pick but they're two books but they're one okay um, if they come out with a, a hard covered you know sort of perfect bound um, version of this I'll be on it like that uh, but yeah, really great, great books. Um, so thank you for uh, watching another video. Don't forget, visit my website, to watch pile, T O W A T C H P I L E dot com. There'll be a link below. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, put one of those. Press the like button. Don't press that one, that's just rude. I'm trying to be your friend. Press that one. Thumbs up. Thumbs up means good. Um, and subscribe. I'm trying to do more and more of these videos. Um, and uh, as I squeeze it in between days at work and stuff like that, I'm passionate about this stuff. If you see something behind me that you'd like to know what it is or something from any of the other videos, if you've got a question about any of these books, send me a message down below. below you know, Put a little comment. Where did you get that? My Harley Quinn baseball bat. I've answered a few questions about that. Please don't hesitate to ask me anything. Thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.